What a tremendous speech. Citizens of Los Angeles, please give a warm welcome to our beloved governor, Don Parasol. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're too kind. Please. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Thank you. Senorita, you are the rose of the shimmering desert with petals graced by the California sun. We haven't met. I'm Diego de la Vega, the brother of this desert rose. And you, dear sir? Lieutenant Ignacio Toledano, aide de camp to the governor. I'm also the nephew of Doña Isabella Verdugo. This, my friends, is the governor's speech. I am in charge of guarding it. Oh, the speech. Huge responsibility. Well, I'm carrying a thousand-page book. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Is that poetry? <laughs> My nanny was crazy about poetry. Hey, you! Oh. The seagull's got the speech! Come back here! <laughs> <laughs> And now, as the new alcalde of Los Angeles, I'm overjoyed to announce my first decision. We shall begin building a school. A school? <laughs> Brother, just what we need. Here I thought that a new barracks might be more useful for the city's safety. And it's been agreed that Carmen de Villalonga shall be appointed as the very first principal of our new school. Oh, my. I wasn't expecting this at all. I... I I'll do it. <laughs> My friends, I'll gladly volunteer to teach reading. Fine, fine. Now, since we're all gathered here, I have a list of all the locals who still have not paid their taxes. And believe me, they will pay up immediately or get tossed in debtor's prison. No! Please be reasonable <laughs> about this. I can't Unfair. believe that. Mm. <laughs> oh, so forceful. <laughs> what a soldier, huh? Well, Sergeant, what are you waiting for? Collect the taxes! Yes, sir! Yes, sir, sir! Cruz, one more peso. Wait. My ear can't be fooled, my friend. Please, we need that peso to feed the family and the cattle. The most we can accommodate you is a year in prison. No, no, no. <laughs> my buttons! <laughs> <laughs> Subject of His Majesty. I have not yet paid my taxes either, gentlemen. I hope this oh. suffices. <laughs> well then, Captain, don't just stand there like a bump on a log. Arrest that bandit right this instant! <laughs> ah, I've got seed! Ah, help me! <laughs> oh, oh, got him. Got him. Oh. Oh. Lancers, catch him! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Too fast for you. Where is he? All right, you can have it. Really? Oh, changed my mind. <laughs> Soldiers, get him! Look out! <laughs> Don Parasol, these poor men actually need these pesos more than you, right? Shall I return their money? El Zorro! <laughs> All the 
collected tax money's <sighs> gone. Evaporated. You're nothing but nincompoop, Monasterio. You're a big, lame zero. To catch Zorro, a desert turtle would be better and faster <laughs> than you. You're so very, very right, Your Excellency. In fact, my nephew here ought to be the right man to set out to capture oh. Zorro. He's young, oh. intelligent, fearless. Excellent idea. I'll give carte blanche to my aide-de-camp, Lieutenant Toledano, so he can capture that bandit Zorro. Captain Monasterio, you will follow his orders. Mm. And if Your Excellency would accept, my husband and I would be honored to host you overnight in our hacienda. Oh. You will be far more comfortable than here in this garrison with all the sweat. <laughs> 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 My dear Ignacio, I suggest you leave all the skullduggery and dirty work to Captain Monasterio. That way, it'll be easy to pin the blame on him afterwards and be rid of him. Then I'll take over as the new captain. That's right, my dear. Excellent. Aguilera and De La Cruz. Oh, what is this? Pesos. Still in costume. Yeah. Uh, that was close. Oh, this is the perfect setting for the schoolhouse. What do you think, Father? Absolutely, my dear. <laughs> Good morning. Diego, you can't be whooping it up all night and expect to teach reading the next morning. We need you here. Come on. Hmm. I know, Bernardo, but still, it's difficult to pretend. I can't commend you, Captain. I've never seen such a bunch of clumsy oafs. Stop! From here on out, the first man who steps out of line will get manure duty for a month! Forward march! <laughs> Whose orders must we follow now? Captain Monasterio's or Lieutenant Toledano's? Then again, it's kind of tricky, as the governor has given carte blanche to Toledano. <laughs> hmm? Lieutenant Toledano, hmm. uh, my respects. I simply meant to say that, uh, that, uh, you look, uh, quite handsome in that uniform. Hmm. Gonzalez, you're on manure huh? duty. That'll teach you not to lick anybody's boot but mine. As for me, I refuse to choose. Matter of fact, I'm off to the inn. Sergeant Garcia, no man abandons his post no matter what. Eight laps huh? round the garrison. Hop to it. Eight laps? That's <laughs> four. <laughs> no third. Hunger. Huh? Stop that immediately! Who is this man? Antonio Ramirez de la Paterna, my fencing master. I have fencing lessons every morning. Is that a problem by any chance? Senor Ramirez is not a soldier. Only military personnel may enter this garrison. That's the rule, my man. You ought to read it someday. Less lap. Sergeant, since you clearly enjoyed that, eight more should be a snap. Tell me, Lieutenant, besides reciting the garrison's house rules, do you plan on arresting Zorro one day? Matter of fact, I'll get him today, Monasterio. <laughs> oh, what 
a nice group of hard workers we have here. And we know Zoro doesn't like this. I believe the question is, will Zoro fall into the trap I've set? Oh, he certainly will, Lieutenant. That bandit always rushes in to help the weakest. Yes, I think we are all set for him. <laughs> What's going on? Captain Monasterio is making us build a new schoolhouse without <gasps> paying us or giving us food. Doing your car, man. What? Captain, that's awful. Let these poor men go back to their farms. What's this? I start building your school and you're upset? Men, uh, take Senorita Villalonga back to her home. I'll... Oh. I'll complain to Don Luis Verdugo. <laughs> 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 well now, I hear that the school's already open. Have you come to learn how to read, Captain? Huh? Hmm. It's time you learned to be quiet. Repeat after me. A, B, C, D for disarm. <laughs> Get that man! Yes, sir! Tornado. <laughs> Looking tired, gents. At the end of your rope. Catch that man, you bubbling. <laughs> Here comes more. Troops! Go get him! Move away! I'm going to capture Zoro. <laughs> Governor's orders. Come now, no squabbling, lads. There's plenty of me for everyone. <laughs> After you. I'll enjoy seeing how good you are at fencing. Aha! Duel! Thanks a lot! Next, please! Hey! On guard! Little Z, dear Lieutenant? It's my turn, my friends. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> hey, it's me, Zoro. I'm down here. Capture Zoro! <laughs> Attack! I got you, Zoro. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Close call, Tornado. We'll have to keep an eye on that Toledano. He's not nearly as stupid as he looks, don't you agree? I had him! How could he have gotten away? Never give up hope. I'm sure you will nab him next time, <laughs> Lieutenant. I'm going to use that imbecile to capture Zoro, and I'll get all the honors and glory. After all, if he nearly nabbed him. Captain, Carmen told me everything. As this town's alcalde, you are hereby officially warned not to force the inhabitants of my city to work against their will. Oh! Hmm. As you wish, sir. Hmm. Oh, no, the school. Carmen! You're too late, Diego. Class is over now. It's just... I've had so much to do as of late. Nothing requires you to give reading classes, Diego. I can find somebody else to do it, you know. Hmm. <sighs> it's not your fault, Diego. If Carmen knew what you really do, she'd forgive you instantly. That's the problem. Sometimes it's hard being Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there's my new plan. 
I shall capture Zoro by attacking his new protégés, the weakest of the Chumash. Zoro has often defended them, and since they are just Indians, we won't have any real problems. I have to admit, it's a brilliant idea. But I, and I alone, will arrest Zoro. We're on our way to the Chumash village, and we're going to arrest their chief and medicine woman, Tyna! <gasps> No already. No need to yell. Have you heard? Lieutenant Toledano is riding out to arrest Tyna. Grandmother? Huh? But why? <laughs> That's her! Tyna! Arrest her! What for? She has done no harm. Arrest him as well! Who else wants to protest? Let go of my daddy! No. no. As soon as Zoro shows his face, I want you to set something on fire so that it looks accidental. That'll keep him here. Excellent idea. <laughs> This time, Zoro, you're mine. <laughs> well done, my friend. Alert! Zoro! What? Stop it! And him was the plan. Let's use that imbecile scheme. We'll set that hut on fire, and that'll stop Zoro in his tracks. Hmm. We'll tie him up near the fire, and uh, we'll be rid of him once and for all. We can easily pin the blame on Zoro. <laughs> Tyna, it's truly a pleasure to see you again. Grandmother, mm. are you all right? They did not arrest me for long. I'm starting to get used to this. Fire! Yeah. Fire! 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 <laughs> Here you are again. Fire! Fire! <laughs> I'll try this. <laughs> hmm. huh. Works well. <laughs> fire! Fire! Oh my, that is the man who came to arrest me. Who put him here? It would seem that whoever lit this fire also wanted to get rid of you, Lieutenant. It's Captain Monasterio who had the idea of setting this fire. <laughs> He's the one to blame. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Good job! Men! Arrest this bandit Zoro! But Lieutenant, he just helped us! Let's go, Tornado! Goodbye, everyone! <laughs> Your Excellency, I'm not the one who hatched the idea of setting that Chumash hut on fire! He did! What? How dare you? Such lies, Monasterio. You should be demoted, stripped of your rank, and discharged from the army. What? <laughs> Sorry, Captain, but I still like you, my friend. You'll finish your lives in a jungle oh. prison in Mexico. Henceforth, Lieutenant Toledano will be in charge of the garrison in Los Angeles. You can count on me, dear Tyna, to pay for rebuilding the hut that burned. Oh, so what? Huts don't matter. Quick, get me back to a place that's civilized. To Monterey. Garcia. 
Because of your insubordination, I wasn't able to arrest that Zoro. This means you need punishing. <laughs> There's manure to shovel, boots to wax. Come now, my dear Ignacio. Let us not be too hard on this poor sergeant. All right, Garcia, you're excused. Thank you, Doña Verdugo. <laughs> be nice to everyone. Patience. And you'll soon see us become the absolute masters of all California. Bon voyage, Captain! Zorro! I hear military jails are quite nice in Mexico. Adios! <laughs> Ladies, your refreshments have arrived. This bad drought, Senorita Inez, is hard on the cattle. It's the worst drought I've ever seen. Dry pasture? You'll be feeding them winter hay soon unless we get some rain. Thank you, Bernardo. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Huh? What? Hey! Ha ha, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> You are right, Tishi. That is why, when you want to save water, you instead rub yourself with sand. Look, Tishi. Are you casting magic spells? Yes. I must chant and call upon the rain spirit. Ooh, can we help? Please? Please? Of course. You can all sing and chant. Oh, but spirits only listen to children who are squeaky clean. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's nothing left. It's the last well water anywhere in Los Angeles. And not one blasted cloud in the sky. <laughs> Sergeant <laughs> Garcia! Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> Once you are finished clowning around, you can go fill the horses' drinking troughs. I can't do that, Captain, sir. There's not a drop of water left in the barrel. No water? Troops! I've thought this matter over carefully. We can't have a water shortage in the garrison, so we'll bring water in from the plaza well. All we need to do is build an aqueduct. A wacky duck? An aqueduct, <laughs> stupid! Like the Romans! <laughs> it's simple. All you need to do is follow my plan. Yes, oh. yes Captain. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. What? They want to have all the water? What about us? His Majesty's army gets priority, or there'd be chaos in California. Oh, but, Captain, we have women and children. You have to think of their needs, too. Of course I've considered them, and everyone who, like you, hmm. tend to complain. If it's any comfort, I still have some cool, well-shaded places in prison. <laughs> Like ancient Romans, easier said than... Yeah, so you be the Roman on the left, and you be the Roman on the right. Halt! Where do you think you're Roman? I said you on the left, hmm. and you on the right. <laughs> now stop fooling around! Drop everything! <laughs> Uh, Captain, it's completed. The Wacky Duck's built. I followed your roaming plan. You'll be so pleased. Hmm. 
Garcia? Sir! Would you mind telling me why the aqueduct goes to the inn instead of to our garrison? <laughs> oh. But, Captain, sir, I, I followed the drawing. Garcia, uh, hmm. bumbling fool. Water should flow from well to garrison. Huh? Now. <laughs> Water must go from well to garrison. Lancer, get to work. <sighs> So, Captain, after the failure of Sergeant Garcia, I followed everything on your plan. The Aqueduct is finished. Water runs from well to garrison. <laughs> Consolis, you're looking at this plan upside down. <laughs> Could you hoop these barrels for me by tomorrow? We desperately need to take water out to our cattle in the pastures. The problem isn't with the barrels, Don Diego. It's the water. You need to go see the well on the plaza. Hmm. What? My plans. What on earth is that pipe? Finally, huh? we've stumbled upon the one thing you two can do. My dear Angelinos, introducing the first aqueduct in California. Hmm. Hmm. Amazing. Yes. Wow. Water will now be rationed in Los Angeles. Half a bucket per person per day, not a drop more. Oh, it's not possible. How can we no. It's not possible. It's not possible. Monasterio is being too harsh with the people. <sighs> You're right, Bernardo, but there's a time for everything. Let's get a closer look. Huh? Soldiers, this is fantastic. His Majesty would be proud of you. Thanks, Don Diego. While California wilts with thirst, the King's army uses the precious water to wash everything, including the King's underwear. Huh. Bravo. Ugh. I hate being disturbed when I'm tending to my flowers. But of course, not when it's the town's oh. prettiest. Captain, may I? D -d 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 accept these humble mm. flowers, dear sweet Ines. Uh. No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm going to report this abuse of power to the governor. Misappropriation of funds. Oh, that stupid pipe. It's harming the entire population. Now, now. Matters of policy are not for pretty senoritas. Time to get changed, Bernardo. Don't move, my fine friend. I'll be right back. Good. <sighs> this is how you two stand guard? <laughs> oh, bumbling fools. My aqueduct is sure to attract Zora. <sighs> that feels much better. Uh -huh. <gasps> Zoro, arrest that man! <laughs> Alert! Guards! Guards! Oh, please, Captain. Can't I have my half bucket of water like everyone else? Oh. 
<laughs> in Los Angeles, water thieves get tossed in prison. Hong Kong! Well, shall we start with you then, Captain? Oh, <laughs> oh my, look! It's Zorro! <laughs> <laughs> Over here! Come get me! <laughs> we got him! We got Zoro! <laughs> Watch this! My Haku ducked. Oh dear, dear. I forgot to untie my horse. So sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Adios! <laughs> water! Get your water! Let's hear it for Zoro! <laughs> <laughs> we did well, Tornado. to go there? They must have solved their water problem in town by now. We're not supposed to know that. Hmm, Diego, you sure that you were here last night? Huh? Finally. It took long enough. Hmm. Now, mount the guard. Anyone who lets Zoro through will shovel horse manure for a month. Oh. 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 Men, I swear to you, on the banner of our regiment, that Zoro will not wreck our wacky duck. They've rebuilt it. <sighs> well, I'll just pull it down again. It's not that complicated. Excellent idea. And how do you plan to avoid all the soldiers who'll be chasing you? Uh, easy. I'll... While you have at it, I'll lead them away from the aqueduct. Well, all right. But it's dangerous. Once you've drawn them away, you run. Hmm. Don't try to take them on. Got it? Hmm. Oh no, it's my idea. Oh, oh brother. <laughs> One more thing though, the cape. The cape is very important. Sweep and swoop. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Like this. The cape? Seriously? Come on, Bernardo, we don't have all night. Hey, I worked hard to perfect my style. How about some respect? <laughs> right, Tornado. Oh, if I'd known, I'd have joined the Navy. No, Zoro. No breaky. So mean. Bad, bad. No breaky. Oh! Zoro! You dreaming of me, Sergeant? Your voice sounds strange. Are you not feeling well? I'm in great shape, and I've come back to wreck this aqueduct. No! Please, Senor Zoro! We, we had to build it twice already! Too I... bad for you. Catch him! Catch him! Oh. 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 Catch him! Catch him! Oh. 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 Zoro! Uh, no, I think I won. I made Zoro run away. Mm. That's right. Run like a scared rabbit. Gonzalez, stay with Garcia and his men to protect the aqueduct. Prevent the civilians from stealing. The rest of you with me. We'll go capture Zoro. Ah! Gonzalez, huh? you heard what the captain said. Protect oh. the wacky duck. Yes, Sergeant. Ah! Ah! Alert! We're 
under attack! <laughs> Help me! Zoro! Wait, how did you get back so soon? What's wrong? Did your voice get worse? I told you, try tea with lemon. Get off, you filthy beast! <laughs> you better stop that right now! The captain will make us start all over again! Oh. <laughs> Catch that masked man! Oh. Meanwhile, I'll guard the wacky duck. Oh. Psst. Sergeant, let us draw some more water. Tortilla de patatas. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. But make it quick. <laughs> I never saw you. Oh! Mm. Yes. oh, my God. oh. oh. <laughs> <clears throat> well now, Sergeant, you let the locals take more than their rations. What will the captain say? Soro, you can't be here. You're being chased by Corporal Gonzalez. You know what we're gonna do? You will finish your tortilla, and I will go tear down the aqueduct. Oh no, not again! No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can build it again tomorrow if you're ordered to. Away! Vandal! Careful, Sergeant. Hmm. Nobody touches my wacky dog! <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> My goodness, what was in your tortilla, Carlos? <gasps> Attack! Zorro! Catch him! Catch him, Zorro! They sure don't give up easily, do they? It looks like I'll have to resort to drastic measures. Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Zorro! <laughs> <laughs> You now, Zoro. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh. Finally. Oh. 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 <laughs> Got him now. Tonight I'll get a fat promotion. Repeat after me, men. Sergeant Gonzalez. escaped. Back to the garrison. We must protect the aqueduct. Mm. I beat Captain Monasterio in a duel. Did any others stay on the plaza? What, that's all? Oh, they'll all be singing Zorro's praises when all the work was actually done by you and me. <laughs> Garcia! Yeah. Garcia! Hey, Sergeant! Yeah. Hey, Garcia! Garcia. Perhaps a slight oh. push right here. Yeah! Hey. yeah. Hmm. Oh. Or there. 
I knew it! Zoro races back to Los Angeles while you're sloughing off! Look, Captain, I've been defending the Wacky Duck single-handedly. It'll never, ever fall! <laughs> Adios, Sergeant, and thanks. Without your help, mm. I never could have done it. Ya, <laughs> 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 <Yeah>, Tornado! <laughs> Garcia! <laughs> Corporal Gonzalez, one month of manure duty. Yes, sir, Captain. Sergeant Garcia, you will personally pick hmm. up everything out there on the plaza. You alone, you hear me? Right down to the last nail. Oh, you mean we won't be rebuilding the wacky duck then? Hmm. Oh, thank you, Captain. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Yay! 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 <laughs> Finally, I chanted and sang all the chants and songs I know. <laughs> yeah! Adios! Money off to Monterey before the end of the week. The governor thanks you, Aguilera. All right, who's next? How about a smile, gentlemen? Captain, I paid my taxes last month, and presently I, I just have one peso left. Who mentioned taxes, Dela Cruz? This money is sort of a supplement to finance the governor's protocol costs in Monterey. Even Sergeant Garcia paid it. Mm -hmm. I have a solution for you. You can sell us your cattle. Uh, uh, wait! No mercy for freedoms. Sergeant, I take him away. As you wish, sir. Move it! What Monasterio is doing is a scandal! Yet more money for the lavish parties the governor throws. The more we give him, the more he demands. And you, Don Diego, you've said nothing. What do you think of all this? I'm always very bored by anything involving taxes. <sighs> oh, you are hmm? so wrapped up in yourself. If Zoro were here, he'd defend the oppressed farmers and teach Captain Monasterio a good lesson. He'd stand up and fight. <sighs> My dear sweet Carmen, I didn't study art and philosophy to wind up compromising myself in common sword fights. Please. Ah! <laughs> days on horseback and all those good meals at the inn that I'll be missing. Hmm. Once this money's in Monterey, the governor will see that we've collected so much more in tax money than any other pueblo in California. And I'll get a big fat promotion to colonel. <laughs> and I'll get a less fat promotion to sergeant. Who knows? Huh? Military life. I haven't even had dinner. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. 
You see there? You hear my poor starved stomach growling? Ow! Alert! Zoro is attacking us! <laughs> This is a simple rock slide, Sergeant. Don't just sit here like a bump on a cactus. Huh? No, no, no. That's an order, uh. you idiot. Mm. Oh, mommy, why? Why, oh, why me? Come on, Sergeant! Uh, uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sergeant. It's Zoro, Captain! Zorro! He's here, I told you. Seize that masked man! You shouldn't play with this. It's too dangerous. Sergeant, Captain, Corporal, quite an assembly of great men. <laughs> men, protect the wagon! Protect the gold! <laughs> sir, yes, sir! Not fast enough, gentlemen. <laughs> the governor doesn't need all this money. When I think of all those poor people who, because of this, can't feed their families, Load those money bags on my horse. Otherwise... <laughs> You'll pay for this. Garcia! Huh? Gonzalez! Do as he says. Move it! Hurry it up! Fireworks? Are you in the mood for a party? Don't touch that! Those are fireworks for a party at the governor's. Really? Gentlemen, I think that was the grand finale. I wish you all a very pleasant evening. Yeah, Tornado! Oh. <laughs> Remount, men! Catch those horses! I want Zoro! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. of Spain. There's a veritable fortune in these bags. Thanks, Zorro. You did all the work for us. <laughs> hey, Lorana, this is the perfect time to take off his mask and finally find out who he really is. <laughs> Easy now, horsey. I was a bullfighter in my younger days. No horse is going to scare me. <laughs> Ole! <clears throat> Muchas gracias, my adoring fans. <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here! Thank you, Tornado. <laughs> Where are the other two? They left with the gold. Made off like bandits, huh? Let's go get them. Huh? Hey, wait for me! Why did I get the smallest horse in the whole garrison? Those idiots have erased all the tracks. Oh well, I'll find them later on. Just like in the good old days. 
There are idiots who sow and those who reap. <laughs> That's for sure, boss. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Better watch out, you two. The first one who sticks his fat hands into our loot gets his ears clipped. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> I can assure you, Don Diego, I saw Zorro steal the money. Saw him with my own eyes, clear as I see you. That meanie. Zorro? Weren't you at least scared, Sergeant? Scared? Me? Never. Why, I drew my sword. I fought like a fiend. Just as I was starting to best him, the, oh, the brigand managed to get away and run off with the oh. booty. What a shame! Sora would never do such a thing. He has always been on our side. Mm. I'd always found him likable in all, but stealing poor people's money. I never thought he'd stoop so low. Silence! When the governor assigns me a mission, I carry it all the way out. Don't expect us to pay out a second time. <laughs> Passing himself off as an Avenger, Zoro <gasps> betrayed you. Hmm. I'll raise the bounty on his head by a thousand pesos. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! What we need is a manhunt to flush Zoro out of his lair for good. Any volunteers? Me! Yes, sir. He's right! Let's go! Let's go get him! Let's catch him! What's in this for Malapinsa? <gasps> hmm. You're right. There's something fishy about this. Two men attacked Zoro, a duo. Say, where are the two men who usually help Malapensa? The dentist and Lorana, where are they? <laughs> Don Diego, would you do us the honor of joining us? We haven't got enough men of uh, courage. Gee, I'd love to tag along, but a manhunt at night with Zoro on the loose? <sighs> well, all right, I will. Besides, a little exercise would do me good. Let's head on out, Captain. Suit yourself, Don Diego. If I were you, I wouldn't go. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to, though. Oh. I'll meet you tonight at the Malapensa Hacienda. I want to see what they're up to. <laughs> what a beautiful landscape! And the sunset is stunning. Look! Hurry up, Don Diego! You're lagging behind! If I were a painter, I'd love to paint this. Ugh. I have no time to lose with this romantic caballero. Don't wait for me, Don Rodrigo. I'll catch up with you later. Yeah. Thanks, Zoro. <laughs> Don't worry, dentist. There's so much money here, Don Rodrigo won't even notice. That's right. We'll be living it up, <laughs> like the governor. <laughs> hmm. Those two crooks are knee-deep in this, no doubt about it. You're right, Bernardo. Those are the two who attacked me. Mm -hmm. huh? That's weird. For a second there, I had the distinct impression we were being watched. Oh, must have been a wild animal. No trace whatsoever of sorrow. This manhunt is a failure. Another failure. My hacienda is half a league from here, right behind the hill. You're all welcome to come. Thank you kindly. Hmm. The men and the horses need to rest up a little. And to eat and drink a little. Oh. <laughs> not disturbing the two of you. Uh, uh, hello, boss. Uh, wasn't expecting you back so soon. <laughs> Captain Monasterio and his men are my guests. Hmm. Ah. Garcia, hmm. who gave you permission to sit down? Oh, oh, sir, yes, sir. I'll be right back. I'm going down to the cellar to get some refreshments. You two stay here to keep an eye out. Don't let anyone in. <sighs> Here's the last one. <gasps> Come on, Bernardo. Mm. Oh. 
Hey. Don Rodrigo, what a nice surprise. What are you doing in my home? I've come to settle a little matter, my dear Don Rodrigo. I couldn't possibly fight an opponent who isn't armed. On guard. Don't worry now, boss. We'll handle it. <laughs> well, well. It's amazing all the friendly people one can meet down here in this cellar. Hmm. No more noise, you numbskulls. Captain Monasterio is up there. No problem, boss. We heard you. We'll skin this critter in silence. <laughs> Good start! Uh, it's taking them a long time to bring up our drinks. You can say that again, Captain. Huh? What was that noise? <laughs> dear, oh dear. You have a strange way of being silent. I'm going upstairs. You take care of him. And I want absolute quiet down here. <laughs> If you must, but silently. Excellent. I see you're getting the hang of it. Oops. Oh, that one was my fault. Well now, Don Rodrigo, you look terrible. You look like you just met the devil in person. <laughs> A trifle. Just scurrying rats. <laughs> Very, very big rats, I'd say. Oh. Uh. Will you kindly tell me what's happening here? Uh, I... I haven't the foggiest. Huh? Ah! Oh! <laughs> so, 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 uh, oh. Zoro! I would very much like to know what this outlaw is doing in your cellar. He... he came here to steal... my wine. Yes, look, there's the proof. Don Whoa. Rodrigo, if lying is an art, you're a master of mendacity. May I take private lessons with you? No more bantering. I'll slash you to pieces. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> nice moves, Captain! of the house. <laughs> Surrender now! <laughs> Stop this now! <laughs> wow! Catch me if you can! <laughs> Panic? I'm just borrowing it. Thanks for the hand. I'd love to continue this fascinating conversation with you, but time is of the essence, and I must get busy with the task that awaits me.
You snoozing or what? That's Zoro! Don't let him escape! Sir, yes, sir! All right, you guys, let's move it! Hurry! Out, Zoro! Take it down! Bunch of nincompoops! Aguilera and De La Cruz. Check and check. Yeah, Tornado! everyone. Uh, besides, the soldiers won't hear of it, since Zoro gave them their money back as well. <laughs> Me too, see? <laughs> mm. I'm going to have myself a nice little feast. Lucia! What? Stop! Let me go! This is a nightmare. I have to wake up. Hmm. Ah, Captain, there's a letter for you. It has your name written on it. It's signed with a Z. Zoro thought of you too. See how nice he is. Hmm. You see, he's not a meanie after all. <laughs> Let's hear it for Zoro! Zoro! Viva Zoro! Hmm. Come in. A letter for you, Captain. Dismissed. Enough already. Uh, uh. <laughs> Garcia! Garcia! Oh. At your command, Captain. My boots. Where are my boots? Do you find something funny? Huh? Oh, no, not at all. Really, but I, I wouldn't want you to catch a toe cold, Captain. <laughs> Ah, there. I can see them. There they are. Oh, 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 oh! Got them! <laughs> Here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a foolproof trap to catch that wretched Zoro. Mm. My idea is pure genius, Garcia. Listen to this. I'm going to have a few Indians unfairly arrested. Unfairly? Yes, it means not fair. But why? Because that's the way it is, you fool. I'll keep them right here, in the garrison house. And later, I shall leave with the garrison on a long, a very long journey. <laughs> Zoro will think the coast is clear. The coast will be clear? He'll rush to rescue those Indians. Oh. And just then, I'll return with the garrison and I'll clobber him. Really? Oh! Oh. Hmm. Listen to me, Garcia. Uh, While I am gone with the troops, you will have to guard the Indians in the garrison mm. house. And you'd better hold your tongue, or else mm. you'll end up on boot duty forever. Oh. Yes, Captain. Do you want me to repeat that for you again? Sorry, Captain. Good morning, Captain Monasterio. Oh. 
Senorita de la Vega, I am honored that you accepted my invitation. I wouldn't have missed the review of the troops for anything in the world. May oh. I? Hmm. <laughs> It's so elegant, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And still, there is more to come. Ooh. Here comes the highlight of the show. Oh, no. Look at those men. Hmm. Yes, take a good look at them all. Those Indians were arrested because they were trying to get out of doing forced labor. Never be an end to this. Those people are outlaws. They deserve to be treated with the utmost severity. Any challenge to the governor's authority will not go unpunished. This should be a lesson to you all. Take them away. Come now, Captain. You cannot treat them this way. And why not, may I ask? Who's going to stop me? I applaud the return of order in Los Angeles. You are too sensitive, senorita. After all, those people are only Indians. Remember that you are Don Alejandro's daughter. Be quiet! I am now going to lead the garrison to Monterey, where the governor is due to inaugurate a new palace. I shall return in ten days or so. Are you leaving right now? I can hear something that sounds like regret in your voice. Alas, duty calls, my dear. Oh. It was a pleasure to share this moment with you. Hmm. I'm counting on you, Sergeant. Don't let me oh. down, or else. Yes, no. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Captain. You silly oaf. Oh. Ah, I think I deserve a little reward, don't I? Just do as usual. As for me, I'll just go and uh, freshen up a little. Uh, to the hacienda, quick! Ready? <laughs> go! <laughs> Diego wins this round. <laughs> <laughs> Never turn your back on your opponent. Diego! Monasterio has had some Indians arrested again. He's thrown them in jail. He'll be put on trial within the next few days. Oh, it's unfair. Oh, no. Not one off. I touched it first. <laughs> and Monasterio found out who was hiding behind Zoro's mask. So there. Huh? What did you say? It would help if you listened. Monasterio has had some Indians unfairly arrested, and he's left for Monterey with the garrison. We can't let him do that. And, um, where are they kept exactly? They're in the garrison house. You really have huh? to go and see. Yes, you're right. I'll go straight away. Are you coming with me? Yes, going to the garrison is a good idea. That way, we'll find out if a unit is going to Monterey. It would also be good to find out how many men will be left with Monasterio. Hmm. <clears throat> My dear Garcia, I just wanted to tell you how much I've appreciated your, uh, your, your intelligence, uh, your courage uh, throughout this whole business. <laughs> <laughs> I hereby appoint you <laughs> lifetime captain of this garrison. Huh? Sergeant Garcia, what have I just heard? You've been made interim captain? I believe congratulations are in order. Uh, I mean, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I, I, I mean... Now, no. now, no need for false modesty hmm. with me. 
I'm glad to see your courage finally rewarded. Oh, Don Diego, this is such an honor. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but what a shame you have to guard those awful prisoners. We could have gone out to celebrate your promotion with a good meal. Mm. But what have they done that was so wrong? Oh, sorry, Don Diego. Don't take it personally. But I cannot discuss the Indians. Captain's orders. Yeah, I understand. National interest. In that case, I'll discuss it directly with Monasterio. And by the way, when is that good man due to return? No, oh, not for another ten days. At the very least. Come on, there's no time to waste. We still have a long way to go to get to Monterey. Seven? That's quite a lot of soldiers. I wonder what Monasterio has got up his sleeve again. This doesn't look good. Yes, you're right. I think this is a mission for Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time to waste, Corporal Gonzalez. We've got to head back if we want to return to Los Angeles at the same time as Zorro. If my trap has worked as I hope it has, huh? <laughs> he's already on his way. At your command, Captain! <clears throat> Tone it down! This is a secret mission. Uh, at your command, Captain. Calm down. But, Sergeant, the Indians have escaped. The Indians? Really? Oh, yes. All is well. What do you mean, all is well? 
I shouldn't tell you about it, but, uh, that was part of the plan. Oh. Why do you think we arrested them when they'd done nothing wrong? Huh, you idiots? Huh? But, Sergeant, we always arrest people who haven't done anything wrong. Yes, but in this case, Captain mm. Monasterio and I had planned the whole thing. We arrest the Indians, Zorro comes along to rescue them, and then wham, bam, we get him. But, uh, Zorro already came, didn't he? Zorro came? Gah! How did we miss him? Quick, get him! Get him! <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, there you are, Zorro. <gasps> this time, you won't be able to escape. Ah, it's you, Captain. Everything's fine, my friends. It'll just take a moment. Just grab him. I want him dead or alive. <laughs> go, go. They've got nothing against you. You heard the Captain. Grab him. Let them go. They're just small fry. I prefer to focus on another type of game. At this point, it would seem that your time is up, Zorro. Attack! I don't want to trouble you, Captain, but I'm afraid I have other plans. <laughs> Adios, Captain. I'll be back so we can have more fun together. I promise. What are you looking at, you imbeciles? Go after him! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yeah. Oh, come on! Ow! I see him! There he is! Look up there! We gotta take that down! I see him! Don't let him get away! So, are you ready to take the plunge, Caballero? <laughs> there he is! This way! Come on, we've got him! Garcia, I can see you, you imbecile! Get up, right now! <laughs> there! There he is! Against one. That's more than I deserve. I'm not that strong, am I? Hmm. Hmm. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Left, right, left, oh. right. <laughs> uh, huh? Stop your silly trick, Zoro. Make it a fair fight. Fair? How funny. You know full well that's not at all my style, Captain. <laughs> Toro! Toro! Mm. Oh. Missed! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Pull! Pull! I'm stuck! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Here you go! Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? Ouch! <laughs> Turned out the lights. Oh, wait a minute, Tornado. I've forgotten something. Where is he? Huh? Ah! I'm sorry, Captain. I nearly forgot your little souvenir. What? Bumbling.
killing fools. Can't you see he's getting away? There he is. Hurry at him. Don't get away. Come on, we've got him. Come on. There he is. Catch him. Catch him. Slowly now. I know where we can go and hide. <laughs> Quick, he's inside. <laughs> Hello? Anyone here? Hmm. Oh. And one, two! Come on, hurry up! Ah. Oh. Where's Zorro? Uh, who? Uh, who? Don't try to outsmart me, Carlos. I know he's hiding in here. But, but you've got it all wrong, Corporal. We only host honest customers. Sergeant Garcia could testify to this. Uh, huh. no. Hmm. Because you think this sounds honest, perhaps? Playing the guitar in the middle of the night? Ouch! <laughs> Uh, whoa! Ooh. <laughs> hmm. ha, ha. Don Diego! Oh, sorry. I had no idea you were in here. Oh, I got you, you bandit! Oh, Captain, are you back already? Where is he? He has to be here! Have you lost something, Captain? May I help you at all? I... I don't understand. What are you doing here at this time, Don Diego? Shouldn't you be at your hacienda instead? Ah, uh, tell me about it, Captain. Can you imagine that my father's business requires me to go to San Luis Obispo tomorrow morning at dawn? So I prefer to sleep in the inn so I can take the first coach. Garcia, this is all your fault. You let Zorro escape when I had entrusted you with a mission of the utmost importance. I'm going to put a price on his head. So that's the lout responsible for the racket I've been subjected to for the past few hours. Let me add 500 pesos to your reward for whoever can catch him. 500 pesos? 500 pesos? 500 meals at Carlos's? <clears throat> I wouldn't want to throw you out, but do you intend to stay while I bathe? Don Diego, I'm sorry to have interrupted your... your bath. Not at all. The pleasure is all mine. Adios, Don Diego. <sighs> sorry, Captain. You know what you've got to look forward to, Garcia. Boot duty forever. <laughs> yes, Captain. Oh. <laughs> to Monterey, to the Governor's Ball. We can't leave yet, Ines. Diego went to see your grandmother, and I'm busy handling ranch business. Be patient, my daughter. Father, I'm all grown up now, and there's a ball. <laughs> Come on, Bernardo, dance with me. <laughs> Would a certain Senorita de la Vega like to finish her fitting? Otherwise, you won't be able to leave until next year. <laughs> coming! Coming, Doña Maria! Don't worry! <sighs> hmm? Hello. Who are you talking to? Me? To my mother. And you? To my grandpa. I miss him. I liked him a lot. Are you from our tribe? My mother was. She was a Chumash, like you. And why isn't your mom with you? It was a long time ago. Pirates attacked our house. My mother saved us from the pirates, but the Great Spirit took her away. My daddy left this morning. He was taken away by the soldiers. What? They had lots of horses and lots of guns. You want me to show you? Mm -hmm. huh? Look! That 
it's my dad. Hey, you! You're not on vacation. Hmm. Get that boulder out of the way. Hurry up. Push. Push. <laughs> what strength, Corporal. Zoro had better watch out. What on earth are you doing here, Don Diego? I was about to ask you the same thing, Corporal. <laughs> yeah. A road work, Don Diego. Ordered by the governor. Ah, and I suppose these men volunteered to help you with this road work? <laughs> we didn't ask them for their opinion. Captain Monasterio ordered it. Ah, and that whip? Ah, this was my little idea. They work faster when they see it. <gasps> Very clever there. But what if someone thought it was outrageous? He would have to speak to my superiors. What a great idea. Thanks for the advice, Corporal. Tishy! Mommy! Mommy! We went to see Daddy. A soldier smacked himself in the nose with his own whip and squealed like a pig. See ya, boy. Grandma, it's been so long. <laughs> you see, I'm still kicking. A few more springtimes, and I'll be older than that mountain. <laughs> Alas, you've come back to us during times of trouble. I've seen. The soldiers are marching Chumash men into forced labor. What will you do? You know, we certainly aren't warriors. I've made peace in the past and never want to see war again. But these soldiers took our men away this morning. The only ones left are women, children, and us hunched over elders. If they take any more men, I'll have to go fishing at my age. They're cutting a new road on that mountainside. I saw them, but what for? There's nothing on that mountain. The spirits have told me these soldiers will bring great evil to the mountain. Don't worry, Grandma. I'll go to Monterey and talk to the governor. He'll order them to stop. I see Governor Don Parasol likes his luxury. Meanwhile, our poor people lack the basics, like food. I'll take care of the governor, Ines. I'll make Monasterio tell me everything he knows about this road. Excellency, allow me to introduce myself. I am Don Diego de la Vega. Don Diego! I've heard so much about you. You know that I was appointed to this post during your stay in Spain. I've heard many say you're a young caballero with great promise. Oh, Don Parasol, they're being too nice. Hmm. Well then, my dear Diego, how do you like being back in California? Ah, well, I must say a lot has changed in California. Before I went to Spain, nobody would ever have marched the poor Chumash into forced labor for the crown. What is this you say? I'm not aware of... Come now. Road work? Through the Chumash Mountains? I'm not aware of the project. You know I do not concern myself with boring matters involving Indians. You are not aware of any of this? There's surely a good reason for employing these... these... Uh, chupa... Chumash. Oh, and their names are so 
complicated. You know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> hmm. Senorita, what a pleasure to see you. Dare I ask you to grant me this dance? <gasps> I'd love to, Captain. <sighs> I have heard you are overseeing roadwork in the mountains. Nothing can grow on those rocky slopes. Oh, you have? Uh, yes, I have a number of projects going, locally. But I cannot discuss them, not even with a pretty senorita oh. like you. Oh, you can tell me anything, Captain. Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> You're awfully curious, sweet Ines. I have to tell you, though, pretty soon, the woman I marry will be rich. Very rich. Excuse me, Captain. Do you mean you'll become rich? <laughs> you don't think I'm planning on spending my life in the military, do you? A man of my standing? I'd make an excellent ranchero. First, I need land and a wife. <laughs> oh! Oh! You stepped on my toes, Captain! Oh! Oh! oh. Ah, forgive me. I'm terribly sorry, Senorita. If you'll excuse me, I'll go join my father. <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh. Ah! Son. My dear friend, Bernardo, starving and exhausted. Oh, I almost forgot you can't hear or talk, so I guess you won't go babbling a secret, eh? That blasted mine up in the mountains, it's no kind of work for soldiers, no! Hmm. Ah, poor Chumash. I don't like this, Bernardo. Ah, it does me good to talk to you, even if you can't understand! <laughs> I needed to get it off my chest. Oh, Sergeant Garcia. Uh, yes, Captain? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Prepare to return to Los Angeles. Mine? So that's why Monasterio thinks he's going to be rich. But what kind of mine? What's really odd is that Don Parasol didn't seem to be aware. So the captain wants to keep it all for himself. That's just wrong. Who thinks this is a call for Zorro? <laughs> <laughs> what an exhausting trip. <sighs> I think I need to take a nap. You should do the same, children. We promise, Father. <sighs> Everyone knows what to do? Let's go, then. is a secret that my mother handed down to me. Aside from you and Ines, nobody knows about it. So I've decided to put my best friend down here. I captured this purebreed myself, and I had an Indian hermit take care of him before we left for Spain, so nobody will ever connect his horse to us. He's the best horse in the world. See you outside later. Men. No dawdling now. You aren't with Sergeant Garcia. Sir, yes, sir, sir. <laughs> oh, who is the idiot who. Oh, Senorita Ines. Uh, is that you? Uh, have you had an accident? Oh, Captain. 
I think I've broken a wheel. <laughs> My men will fix that for you in a jiffy. You there, get to work. Hurry up. Yes, yes sir. sir. No, oh, oh, idiots. <laughs> oh, it's so hot out today. My throat is parched. Uh, you. Yes, Captain. I'm fixing the wheel. First, go get some water for the pretty senorita, you fool! They have no manners. Yes, sir! Am I the one who always has to do all the work? Hmm. Not funny, Corporal. Uh, what are you talking about, sir? You know what I mean. Stop throwing pebbles at me. Wait! Oh. You're the one who threw pebbles at me! Hmm. Oh! Aha! It's you, clumsy Chumash! <laughs> You'll pay for that! Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> How does the whip feel to you now, Corporal? Z -Z Zorro! 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 <laughs> Lancers! Seize that man! You, go right! And the others! Yes, sir. Uh, go left! Well then, uh, no, no, no! I mean, go left with the others! Not that left! The other kind of left! I mean, go right! <laughs> Perhaps there's an easier way up, Sergeant. Huh? <laughs> Why don't you come up yourself, Sergeant? Huh? Hey, stay where you are! Oh, who cares? I can't handle everything. Zorro! Yeah. Look out! I'm going to capture you, you scallywag! <laughs> and I'll get promoted! Huh? Corporal Gonzalez, I am your sergeant, and I will be the one who captures Zorro. Is that clear? <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't stay much longer. It's raining rocks. Wait, I don't see any clouds. Will you finally be done fixing that wheel? Now, don't get upset, huh? Captain. I'm doing quite fine, thanks to you. <laughs> Faster, soldier! All done now. Finished, Captain. It's about time. My dear Ines, I'm sorry I can't escort you back to your hacienda, but duty calls. Thank you, Captain. Yeah. Hmm. I hope my broken wheel delayed them long enough. Will you do something, Corporal? If the mine gets sealed off, the blame will fall on us! That's not huh? all that will fall on you. Catch him! Escape us now. <laughs> 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 
Pick up your swords, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, when did he do that? Oh, he's here, Captain. We'll have the last laugh. Zoro! Monasterio, you're rather late. <laughs> this mount! Seize that man! Yes, yes sir. sir! Yes, sir! Get your weapon! <laughs> Captain, come on, now don't be shy. Surrender, Scallywag. No, that's cheating. It's, it's going to blow any second now, Captain. Side. Hmm. At least we're rid of Zoro. He was inside. <laughs> but still, flattened like a tortilla under all those rocks. Poor, poor Zoro. Hmm. Looks like silver, right? That's what Monasteria was after in the mountain. Captain Monasteria? Oh, huh? Zoro! He's alive! You wanted to open this silver mine without informing the governor? Now, now. That goes against the rules, doesn't it? Well, that's over and forgotten. History! We wouldn't want Parasol to find out. Adios! <laughs> this is all your fault, you ninny! Yes, it's all your fault, you ninny! Uh, uh, but you, you were hmm. incredible, Captain! Hmm. Oh! my friend, but the pretty lady is mine! Ah! Hey! I'm sorry, but Senorita Naranja has oh. just told me she'd rather be eaten by me. <laughs> Again? Come on. You'll just get yourself hurt. Yes, Bernardo, five years. 
Five long years since we left for Spain. It seems so long ago. Quick, let's gather our belongings. I look forward to seeing Ines again. Her letter has worried me. Something terrible seems to be happening in California. All those innocent arrested, good people ruined. She mentions the new Viceroy as a useless and greedy profiteer. And she seems to hate that Los Angeles captain. Oh, yes, I would love to fight, but it would be one against a hundred, and we'd only end up in prison or worse. And by the way, apart from that Gala sword, I should not be seen with all these fancy swords. Huh? Bernardo, from now on, I must appear as a useless fencer. I no longer like weapons. I'm all about books. And as for you, you will pretend to be deaf. You'll see. People will talk in front of you, and we shall learn many interesting things, I'm sure. These are nothing more than big golden bowls. Today, we are facing a new challenge. <clears throat> Those are just two pesos apiece. Ines! <laughs> Father! Uh, Diego! <laughs> <laughs> You're taller than me! <laughs> and you, little sister, have turned into a real beauty! <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Diego! Father, such a pleasure to see you again. So, what have you learned at the Royal Academy for the past five years? Your heads are fuller than when you left, I hope. Father, I've got some bad news. During the last of the King's celebrations, Bernardo stood a little bit too close to a cannon, and since then, he's been deaf. Oh, what a horrible story! Oh, Bernardo! Poor Bernardo! Ah, oh. oh, what a stroke of bad luck. But I am glad that you are back home now. You'll see. We'll adapt to you. Huh? Oh, uh, careful! Huh? Uh, sorry. You incompetent <laughs> fool! What? Where you going? Hurry up, you over there! Go on! Sergeant Garcia! Uh, yes, Captain. <laughs> this bunch of good-for-nothings is asleep! What are you waiting for? Wake them up! Do you want this to last until tomorrow? That'll teach you to rebel against the taxes. <laughs> uh, you heard the Captain. Back to work. Go on. Quick! Quick! Uh, uh, quick! Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Calm down! Be nice! <laughs> Help! I, I can't swim! <laughs> Garcia! You idiot! Don Alejandro. Senorita, what a wonderful surprise to see you here. <laughs> Diego, my son, this is Captain Monasterio from the Los Angeles garrison. And this is Bernardo Velasquez, Captain, the son of hmm. my former estate steward. We are back from Barcelona where we studied. Indeed. You two want to change the world like every other student? Me? No, I'm not into politics. But if you want to talk about poetry mm. or philosophy, I'm your man. Uh, forgive my friend, he is mm. deaf. He understands sign language, but nothing else. I don't have time for such idiotic rubbish. <laughs> my medals! <laughs> hey! <laughs> 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 I must take leave now. Sadly, my duty as a soldier is about to deprive you of my presence once again, Senorita Ines. <laughs> that was funny, Bernardo. <laughs> hmm. Rally round to Los Angeles and at the double. Oh, uh, yes, Captain. Uh, right away, Captain. Oh. What? You're not happy? 
You should have paid your taxes then. Uh, let's go, everybody. Hmm. When will there be a harbor in Los Angeles? These four days of traveling have been the death of me. Oh, Diego, would you have preferred to walk home and sleep under the stars like those unfortunate peones? Oh, Diego, please. Ah, when we were little, we used to love sleeping outside, didn't we? But what are you saying? That Monasterio is a brute who abuses the peasants and dominates the whole region. I know. I could talk with the captain about an excellent book I read about power, The Prince by Machiavelli. Diego, actions are louder than words. Come on, didn't the two of you get my letter? Uh, yes, I did, but I don't like conflicts. It's just too boring. <gasps> I've got it. We have to invite Captain Monasterio to the Hacienda and explain to him that violence has never solved anything. I'm sure he'll understand and free the paleness. Stop, please! In the name of Viceroy Don Esteban Parasol, the representative of His Majesty in California, Anyone who has not paid their taxes is sentenced to jail. Uh, well, their families have paid their debts. Sergeant Garcia, now. Uh, yes, yes, sir, sir Captain. Sir. Captain. Do you still believe we just need to ask the captain nicely? Mm. Captain, these new taxes are unfair and insane. That's right. Who among these modest people can afford them? Show some mercy. Please, free these good people. Not right. Don Alejandro de la Vega, the taxes have been set by the Viceroy in Monterey, and everyone has to pay. Oh, yes, yes. Well, the Viceroy is wrong, then. Don Parasol has been entrusted by your king. We all have a duty of obedience to him. Even you don't forget it. Uh, yes, don't forget it. Uh, Father, the captain is right. It may be better not to annoy the Viceroy. <laughs> On the contrary, I shall return tonight back to Monterey to tell Don Parasol how I feel about all this. <laughs> Diego, stop. What? <gasps> Home at last. So good to be home again. Don Diego, welcome home. Thank you, my friend. Shh. <laughs> oh, por Dios! Hmm, <laughs> Maria, this has to be the best sopita in the world. Uh, sorry, Doña Maria. <laughs> for our dinner. If I let you, there would be nothing left. Shoo, shoo, <laughs> get out of my kitchen, you bunch of thieves. Oh, God! <laughs> you must come to the jail with me. Let's at least bring those unfortunate peonies a good dinner. <sighs> I'd love to, but I am too exhausted for my travels. Tomorrow, all right? How can you be so selfish? Come on, get up! I do not like this at all, Ines. Do not provoke those soldiers. Maria, I can't just stand here and do nothing when innocents are suffering under this evil captain's boots. Corporal Gonzalez, 
Yes, Sergeant? Uh, go and watch the prisoners. I have to go out. No, I watched them all afternoon. It's your turn, Whoa. Sergeant. Yes, but I am your superior, and I say you must watch them again, because I have to go and think about we do if... Uh, hmm. There was a mutiny, huh? because they've not been given any food or water. And where are you oh, going? To the inn, of course, uh, to ask for tomorrow's menu. <laughs> so there. Sergeant Garcia! Uh, yes, Captain? Why are the prisoners sleeping on bales of hay? This is not a hotel. You have five minutes to take these bales out of the cells and give them to the horses. Oh, no. Good afternoon, Captain. I am certain that these prisoners must be a burden for the army. So I brought you food to feed them. Please, please, water. I am very sorry, Senorita de la Vega. The prisoners have already had their dinner, and they do not want anything else. Please! Ah. Hey! Arrest him, and put him in jail with the others. That'll teach him. Oh, I <laughs> mean, right. <gasps> Hands off, soldier. Let go of him. I forbid you to take him. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a ball. Senores, may I please join your party? What does that mean? Who are you? My name is Zorro. And I'm here to bring justice back to Los Angeles. The town obviously needs it. And for a start, I'm going to free your prisoners. What? Hmm. Throw this buffoon in jail at once. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You know what they say. The more, the merrier. <laughs> oh. Oh. Garcia. Lancers, grab your weapons. We're under attack. Hey, hey, oh. 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 There. He's there. Catch him! Go, go! Ow. Ow. Thank you. My keys! <laughs> Watch out for the wasps! Catch him! You bunch of bumbling idiots! You are useless! The shame of the army! I'm over here! No, not here, there! Listen, I'm trying to help you out. If you don't make an effort, it's not gonna work. <laughs> you fools! Give me that! Oh, Garcia, let go, man! Let go! No. Yes, sir, <clears throat> Captain! and take the food with you. Thank you. Oh. Senores, do you really want me to fight against all of you with just this simple whip? Oh. All right, then. <laughs> oh. What's happening? Oh. Oh. Captain Monasterio, something terrible has happened. All the prisoners have escaped. Huh? How? No one stayed to watch the cells? Garcia? Gonzalez? Huh? This will cost you your heart. Huh? Not again. <laughs> All right, I surrender. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Look at that, Gonzalez. Oh! <laughs> he 
He's very good. Uh, stay behind me, Corporal. <laughs> Captain! <laughs> Look here! I have captured Zorro! I'm your sergeant! And I'm the one who led to this <laughs> arrest! Mm, are you quite sure, senores? Because I don't see any handcuffs around these hands. Arrest him! Take the horses! Quick! Ha ha! You're weakening, you scoundrel! You have found your master! Yeah, remember my name! Garcia! Sergeant Garcia! My sword! <laughs> no! Oh! Oh, oh, no! Please! <laughs> this one is for you, Sergeant! Oh. arrested Bernardo, and then a man arrived. He had a mask on. He said his name was Zorro. He fought all alone against... Diego, wake up! Oh, he's hopeless! <sighs> Diego never used to be that way before he went to Spain. He's turned into a lazy good-for-nothing. Oh, what a shame. I don't recognize him at all. I wrote to ask him to come and help us, but all he does is sleep all day. Oh, I feel like sending him back on a ship. It's really too bad. But look at me. All I do is talk, 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 and you can't even hear. Oh, Bernardo, what's going to happen to us? Oh. Oh. Zorro! Uh, do not take another step, senor or you may well end up with a headache tomorrow. I won't hesitate to break this vase over your head. Who are you? And what are you doing in our house? I don't recall inviting you in. And by the way, how do you even know about this passageway? Oh, Diego? The greatest good for nothing to have ever returned from Spain, in person, at your service, my dear sister. <laughs> what? So from the beginning, you've been making fun of me? Yeah. You were just acting a part? What about you, Bernardo? Are you really deaf or... Oh! I don't know which one of you I'm gonna knock huh? out first! <laughs> hey, Ines! Ines, listen! I can explain! <laughs> <laughs> you should see your faces! It's priceless! Diego, Bernardo, at last you are home. Come here. <laughs> Hang on, sis. You're going to smother us. And now's not the time. I need a nap. <laughs> 